thinking of love through the moon now It seems like the right thing to do Every time that I look to the moon now My mind just keeps running to you What attracted me was what attracted millions of young viewers. It was the 10th season of American Idol. I'm in the music business, and it's not a show that I would normally get to watch very much, but it was like people in the industry were saying, you know, it was the, most, it was the number one show, I think, in the world at the time. And it was the 10th season, and I decided to tune in, you know? But most of the time that I would watch a, a show like that, it, most of the, you know, performers were like clones to me. But I'm watching it one night, and this young kid comes out. And he comes out with a big upright bass, you know? And he starts playing. And from that moment on, I said, I, I just was mesmerized. I mean, it was, it, he was so different. And I'll tell you something else I remember. And I think he got it right on the money. Randy Jackson, one of the judges for years, I remember in one of the interview processes, he, he looked at Casey and he said, in all my years on the show, I think you're the most talented pe person who ever walked through here. And I totally resonated with that because Although American Idol really is about singing and it's like, I guess the voice are, you know, the truth to me is Casey is a musician who made it to the top of American Idol. He's not a, I mean, he's a great singer, but he's a musician first with a great voice. And I think that says a lot about him, you know, the fact that he made it there. And um, I think this guy's going to have a terrific career. I said it. I remember when I saw him, I wanted to sign him. This recording process is um, probably the realest thing that you'll ever you'll ever get. Number one, first of all, you got this uh, this uh, crash test dummy in the middle of the room that you're playing to that has uh, real looking ears. They even feel real. They feel like real ears, and you are capturing basically. If you put on headphones, you're gonna hear exactly like if someone's walking around the room with a saxophone. You're gonna hear it all around them. You're getting the real deal. You're getting uh, the real um, senses. You're getting the sense, a sense, um, a true sense of where things are coming from uh, auditorily. Um, so, but a big reason of um, why I'm loving this process so much um, is because it's just me and my buddies just sitting in a room, just jamming together, uh, like we used to do when we toured together. We've been touring for like three years. And uh, you know, you got one guy from Colorado that has a family that's, that plays a lot of instruments, bass, guitar, and, and great harmonies. And then you got another guy that, that knows the sax and uh, all the jazz roots and also knows how to, to um, drum like crazy, be the drum set, if you will, you know what I mean? And this is how we practice. When, when me and Jacob and Taylor all get into a room and practice, we sit around just like, we did this last night, actually. We were sitting, uh, going over harmonies, kind of like we are set up in this church, you know what I mean? So I feel like I'm just rehearsing, and that's kind of sometimes the most fun that I ever have is definitely the sound checks and the rehearsals. So I feel like I'm just in a, a, a giant um, jam session um, you know, we snuck into the church and now we're jamming in there because the acoustics are great, but it's legal, you know what I mean? So <laughs> that's what's so um, magic about it, you know what I mean? I want people to listen to this record and I want them to know that I'm having a great time and partying and I'm loving life because of playing music with my friends. And you can do that too. I, I just want people to hear this record, and I think the record's going to speak for itself. True talent, you know, you, you can't fake it. I'm very excited that um, we're able to do this project and just get it out. I hope we're going to help him reach a market that he hasn't tapped into yet. Um, I think he's got, I think that um, an individual like Casey could help bring 
the uh, art form of jazz to a, to a mass scale. I think there's a lot of young people who haven't been exposed to it yet because maybe they can't identify. Casey's a young, cool guy. And I really, I just can't tell you how excited I am, I am because we're creating a piece of art that people are gonna love that I really believe that we're gonna be able to reach to a larger audience than a normal jazz record. Thinking of love through the moon now It seems like the right thing to do